So what is the difference between Lindy Hop and Charleston? Well, here's the truth. Everybody knows and nobody knows. So I'm gonna give you my big fat bloated opinion. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Nets umpire, and we're going to get right into this topic. But first, make sure you subscribe and headbutt that notification button so you never miss a video from me ever again. So the main distinction that I found between Lindy Hop and Charleston is more about the rhythm. Yes, Lindy Hop is not a rhythm. It is a dance style that's danced to swing music. Charleston, on the other hand, is a dance style, but it's also a rhythm. So why is it that both dances and both sounds can work together but be so different. So basically what I found is that the answer lies in the rhythm section of a swing song. If you were doing Lindy Hop to a swing song by Fat Swaller called Honeysuckle Rose, you'll notice that the guitar is focused on every single beat. Now the main difference with the Charleston is that the guitar rhythm will sometimes emphasize the even numbers. You get it, it's the perfect example of same, same, but different. The best way that I can explain it from a like hip hop perspective, Lindy Hop is more like those rappers that bounce on every single beat. I hate that song. Now the Charleston rhythm for me correlates with the late 1980s and early 90s New Jack Swing movement where the emphasis on the even number was exaggerated. Okay, so a hip hop dancer can do the New Jack swing style to a ludicrous beat, but it does feel a little forced and exaggerated and a little silly, even though it still works. And this is the same when I'm trying to do a Charleston type move to a song that I would normally do Lindy Hop to and the rhythm's too slow. Or if I'm trying to do Lindy Hop to a Charleston rhythm, the rhythm might be too fast and I'm super exhausted. It's a bit technical, but just remember whenever the tempo allows for it and you can mix Lindy Hop and Charleston and it feels natural, go ahead and try it. If it feels a bit jarring then you probably want to pick Charleston over Lindy Hop or Lindy Hop over Charleston depending of the pace of the swing song. If you haven't started swing dancing at home yet you need to check out over 25 of my free swing dancing courses below along with my swing dance music playlists. If you haven't already check out our Galactic Swing Dance Empire on Patreon where you can get access to over 350 original courses plus live stream videos to help you maximize your swing dance journey at home. With that said, if I don't see some of your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.